Good morning, children. Already we studied about uh, uh, Fisher's quantity theory of money, and uh, we uh, I already mentioned that there are two theories of two approaches in quantity theory of money. One is Fisher's transaction approach, and another one is Cambridge approach. Last class we saw about Fisher's quantity theory of money. Now we are going to see Cambridge approach, and in this Cambridge cash balance approach, we are having a uh, two authors. Uh, equation one is Marshall's equation and another one is Keynes equation. Okay, so Cambridge equation we are going to see two equations. The first one is Marshall's equation and another one is Keynes equation. So Marshall has expressed this equation in the form of m is equal to kpy. It is not kalakapovadiare. It is a uh, k represents the fraction of real income. K is fraction of real income and P purchasing power and Y is a real income M quantity money. So quantity money is equal to fraction of real income purchasing power real income and uh, and here this while if you want to calculate the price level okay in the purchasing power in the price number to number calculate particular we are taken as a price here so M divided by KY. So, this value of money is founded by dividing quantity of goods by total income and, thing, and it is divided by total supply of money. Okay, so the value of money, how do you calculate value of money? This value of money is divided by quantity of goods and total supply of money. Quantity of goods and total supply of money. And according to Keynes, uh, he says that the value of money is not only influenced by quantity of money, but it is also changes in the fraction of real income. So, M is not also not only an important aspect, but K is also an important one. Are you clear? So, this you may be expected for one or two mark question. That is a Marshall's equation. How do you express Marshall's equation? Good. M is equal to KPY. And if you want to calculate price, what is the equation? M divided by KY okay price at the grow so M in the book equals kind of over the M by KY and according to Marshall M is also not only influence the value of money but K is also an important one okay next to concept is a Keynes equation Keynes equation is represented as M is equal to PK okay how do you express Keynes equation here N is equal to PK so N is nothing but supply of money P is a price level K is a people decide to keep uh, keep a certain amount of money in the form of a cash. Okay, kaila cash a kaila vechukunu nenekirade. Here it represents K. So Keynes indicates that K is a real balance. K ingirada or a real balance because that is a supply of money price. Here a liquid cash K. So other than or real balance and so on because it is measured in terms of consumer goods. Okay, already you know what is meant by consumer goods. So, it is measured in terms of a consumer goods. So, K is a real balance. So, here Keynes suggests that people's desire to hold money is an unaltered by monetary authority. So, number kaila panama vechukunu apri nanakir the vera yar nali monetary any monetary authorities nali yu ada matha mudiyad. So, we can change only the quantity of money and the monetary authority so price level and value of money can be stabilized so price level value of money you then have stabilize panamudiyo how we stabilize the price level it is only because of a quantity of money and monetary authority so again here Keynes has extended his equation like n is equal to pk in a path like and here p uh, p of k plus r k dash here n is a total money supply price level K is a uh, holding money in the cash. R cash reserve ratio. K dash is nothing but community's total money deposit in banks in terms of consumer goods. Okay. Are you clear? So, uh, here uh, this scheme assumes that K, K dash and R are constant. Okay. Assumptions of this theory K, K dash and R are constant. And price changed directly. And proportionately to change in money or money volume. Are you clear children? So here you may be expected for one more question. Keynes equation n is equal to pk. Okay. So people hold in cash in the we can't change. So we can change or stabilize through only a quantity of money and monetary authority. So uh, today we saw about only the Cambridge equation, Marshall's equation and Keynes equation. You just remember the equation that's enough. M is equal to kpy. 
and uh, here it is a Keynes equation is n is equal to pk. Are you clear children? Yes, next important concept is inflation, types of inflation, causes and effects of inflation. Next class we will see about it. Thank you children.